All right, welcome to Dean Bodie Show. Dan, da, 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 da. Dean Bodie Show. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Happy Friday. Hope you're having a great week. And we're about to have a nice weekend. Let's make it a great weekend. And we're going to get it kicked off. Good girl, Bodie. Good, good girl. Good girl, Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBodie.com, 800-878-9698, the Bodie Hotline, the Bodie Fun Line. Call the Bodie Line, say something nice to Bodie. She's waiting for you. It's Friday night. Give her a call. Say something cool. Say a joke, a little riddle. Do your little zippity doo dah do a little sing-along. We'll sing it along with you. Say your name, where you're from. We'll make it a feature on the show. We'll give you a giant big shout-out from Dean Bodie. Bodie will give you one. She'd love to give you a big shout-out. And uh, 800-878-9698, just in case you didn't hear me the first time, and DeanBodie.com, in case you didn't hear me the first time. <laughs> the links are on there. Why don't take you to the podcast, Apple, Spotify, wherever you get podcasts. We're on all the platforms. The social link is on there, too. You can, it'll get you right over to the YouTube channel, D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I space show. YouTube channel. The teasers are on there. The short videos we do early in the day. Bodie's in all the teasers. You don't want to miss those. You know... Hey, you know, because these are real shows. We're coming at you daily, Dean Bodie, because life comes at you daily, not weekly and monthly. So that being said, we're doing our thing over here. We're running around today like a crazy person doing this, doing that. I had to refax something in because I called about it. Did you receive it? Oh, yeah, but you have to print your name also, not just sign it so we know. And the person that's processing it can match it up. I know, but my name is on top of the letter. Yeah, but you still got to put your name next to the thing and the signature. Okay, sure. So I go back to my guy at Mail Shipping More who does all my scanning and faxing and all that stuff because I don't have a scanner over here. Yeah, I could do it. I guess you could scan it on the scan app and all that. But hey, it's a reason to get out there. I had to go do a little shopping at the grocery store anyway. So I get to say hi to my buddy. Okay, let's just call him Kyle. And um, get our thing done and resend it so we can wait another two weeks so we can make sure that they did it and they see that the name matches up with the thing. The thing matches up with the thing. You know, follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road, follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. Buddy, 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 da 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 we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of us. That's what I feel like on a daily basis. Oh, yeah. So, man, let me tell you, man, we're doing this and we're doing that today. And we're getting a lot done is the main thing. And uh, that's how we do it over here, Dean Bodie. zippity doo da, zippity a. We're going to check out today what's going on with the show today. We don't want to shortchange anybody on the Dean Bodie Show. So let's see what's going on over here, man, because the BK Lounge and Carrot Cake, oh, yeah. So, yeah, we did a little late night last night, little late night Burger King. The crazy thing about it is during the day, we did a little P.F. Chang's Uber Eats order. Let me tell you, man, the pepper steak, boom, is spot on. And uh, the pepper steak is... Whoa, the pepper steak is so good that, um, yeah, maybe you want to do that afterwards. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. So the pepper steak, we got this. Uh, we tried a new dish, the chicken, the ginger chicken and broccoli. Oh, my God, delicious. And what else did we get? We got the special lo mein. This place has got it dialed in. It comes in the nice sealed uh, packaging like I love. It keeps things fresh. Yeah, you spend a little extra, but you get it packaged the way it should be. Why? Because it's food. It should be fresh. It should be sealed. Not this styrofoam crazy stuff where the air gets in and all that weird stuff. Stop doing that. Charge a little bit more. Package it correctly because when you want to keep leftovers, it stays better. I put it in my own Tupperwares anyway, anyway because I just don't like hanging on to the whatever delivery Tupperwares. Put it in your own special Tupperwares, you seal it up, and you know when a dish is really good and they make good with good ingredients and it's fresh? You can actually put it in the fridge, eat it the next day like that chicken ginger with broccoli right out of the fridge, and if it's delicious cold, oh yeah! <laughs> 
I can do some dishes cold, man. You know, when I get into the zone and I'm working out, oh, and that's coming up, by the way, the kid's getting ready to get back into the gym. That piece of the health pie, that mental health part of the pie is missing. Yes, I go for multiple walks a day with Bodhi and I do this and do that and take my supplements and do the 90-10 rule, 90% do the right thing, 10% treat, drink plenty of water. I got all that dialed in, but... There's nothing like the weightlifting, the strength training, number one, to make strong bones, to make strong muscle, to put more lean muscle on, to burn more fat, and your clothes feel better. You feel better, you feel stronger, and the endorphin rush that you get when you get out and start throwing the weights around and hitting the machines, there's no replacement for that. End of story. Sorry, but when I, anyway, my point I'm trying to make is when I get really strict with that, I start really cranking up the diet really strict and it's coming you know the six seven meals a day and all of that stuff and the empty stomach cardio and getting it really dialed in and and I miss it I miss it what it does to me uh, between the ears and uh, my mental health what that I struggle with big time not only on a daily but 24 7 it's a constant battle for me I've been fighting um, depression uh, high anxiety and all that stuff my whole life pretty much, and uh, at a high level over 25 years, and depersonalization, derealization, if you don't know what that is, and you know, that's kind of like when you're, uh, you're in this foggy state and this dream state, and I've had that for years at a clip um, consistently daily, which is not fun. Those of you that have been dealing with that, my heart definitely goes out to you, but it will get better. Just keep doing the right things. And remember, keep the food dialed in. The most powerful drug in the world begins with an F and ends with a D, right? And um, keep yourself, uh, you know, don't get around negative people and all that stuff. Live your life like you normally would. Get yourself out of your comfort zone and start making some new neurological connections. Get the water down. Stay away. Avoid the things that you need to avoid. You know, you got to avoid the caffeine. You got to avoid, um, you know, all the sugar and all of the diet sodas and all of that stuff. You can't eat a bunch of garbage. Your body's not going to be able to find its way. You got to put it in an environment so it can fix itself. And I'm reaching out to you today, people with anxiety and depersonalization, derealization, keep doing the right things. And then after a year of really clean, you'll know what I'm talking about. No drugs, no booze. No marijuana, none of that stuff. Clean it up. Let your body find its way, the way it needs to find it. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna be covering it up and patching it up and putting that Band-Aid on it or putting that black can of spray and spray over the, the engine light in your car and then down the road, sooner or later, it's gonna break down. So do it straight on. Take it on straight on and trust the process. Your body will get there if you give it the tools. Hey. It's not a short-term thing. This is a long-term fix. And to me, that's the best way to do it. So you know how to handle it at that level. Once you got that dialed in, when it does come around again, it's not going to last as long. The duration's going to be a lot shorter. I've been dealing with this for what feels like forever. And I, and I go in and out of it sometimes. But it, it, the, the duration is way shorter than it's ever been. I'm handling this thing better than I ever have. And the game changer that I found recently is getting yourself out of your comfort zone. Right? And remember, too, when you say food, you always include the water. Okay? Body's over 80% water. Flush it out. When you go to the bathroom, you want to see clear, not yellow, amber color. If you do, your body's letting you know it's dehydrated. Drink more. Oh, yeah. So, you know... Um, getting yourself out of your comfort zone is major. You're going to make new neurological connections. You're going to fix it. So now that we've talked about that, keep moving forward. Um, don't quit like Body by Jake says. <laughs> and, um, you know, last night, late night Burger King. So I got all this P.F. Chang stuff coming in. And I was like, I got it all packaged up. I put it away. And uh, all of a sudden... I don't know. I wasn't in the mood for it. You know what I think it was? I wanted to have it here because I could have some cool leftovers and all that stuff too, which I do sometimes also because it's going to hang out for a couple days, three days. And um, so I get enough for that. And all of a sudden I thought, you know what? Let me get some late night Burger King. I haven't had Burger King in a long time because that's the BK Lounge. 
That's the BK Lounge we used to go to in high school. It touches all kinds of buttons on me. It's a warm fuzzy. And it's got a way better jingle than McDonald's does. And I've done this before on a previous episode. Hold the pickles, hold the lettuce. Special orders don't upset us. All we ask is that you let us serve it your way. Have it your way. Have it your way. Have it your way at Burger King. Way better than to all be patty special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Okay, come on. I don't even know what Chick-fil-A's jingle is. I don't even know what... Um, Carl's Jr. Jing or Hardee's if they even have one. I don't even know uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken besides finger licking good, which you can't even do that anymore because of the COVID schmovid pandemic schmandemic. And now uh, I don't even think uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, what's the other one? Uh, it, what's it called? Uh, in and out Burger and they don't have, none of these places have jingles. The Burger King, the BK Lounge comes through with the jingle the greatest of all time. The end. So we got it. I slammed down a Whopper um, and uh, got a couple plain burgers. Just took the patties out with a little cheese. Chopped up a couple small little patties for the boatster. And we had a little BK Lounge party last night. That's how we do it. That's how we do it here at the Dean Bodie Show. She's the good girl Bodie. She's the best girl in the world. Yeah, the good girl Bodie. Yeah, the best girl in the world. Oh, yeah. DeanBodie.com is the website. We got the links on there. One goes to the podcast. Apple, Spotify, wherever you get podcasts. Social link gets you over to the YouTube channel. D-E-A-N-B-O-D-I space show. YouTube channel. The teasers. The full videos. The go with the full audio. Digest it any way you want. Enjoy it. We're here for you. We're coming at you daily. Because we know life comes at you daily. Not weekly and monthly. We're your daily joy vitamin. Bodie's been giving me the joy vitamin multiple times today already. How blessed am I? Let me tell you, she's a life changer. She's a game changer with my mental health like nothing else before has ever existed. Period. And uh, man, I, I love Bodie so much. I don't even know how much to, to even say in measurement because it, it doesn't exist. The greatest. The greatest of all time. So... Um, Along with the website, put your email on there. We'll get you on the on the list there. And we're as we're compiling a list. And as soon as we start figuring out how we're going to get this thing done, whether it's going to be a Dean Bodie, um, you know, transcript of the show or some kind of short newsletter, and I'm trying to think of something fun to do. Hey, any suggestions? Call the hotline. Leave it on there. What do you want from Dean Bodie? Some merchandise. We'll get some artwork done. Let's got to find the right thing. I thought maybe some kind of cartoony looking thing or caricature of the two of us like it is um, on the podcast where it's her and I in that picture, something along those lines. I don't know. I want to put it in the hands of a great artist and put together something really cool so we can get some cool T-shirts done. So we can get maybe some Dean Bodie, I don't know, refrigerator magnets or some stickers or um, some hats. You know, I like to wear hats, fat forwards or backwards, and we'll get a little Dean Bodie hat going on there. Stuff that I wear. Shirts, hats. I don't know. We're, gonna, we're, we're thinking about it more these days. And, um, you know, thanks for being here for us. We appreciate your support, you know, and um, I don't know. It, it really warms my heart. We're having a lot of fun. I hope we give you a little chuckle. I hope we give you some good advice. Hey, we've been through a lot over here, Dean Bodie, in my, in my life. And I want to share my experiences with you. Nothing better than someone with real life experience sharing that with you and what, how they pulled out of it, whether it's anxiety, whether it's fixing their credit, whether it's how to save money, whether it's whatever. People that have done it and put it into practice and that are successful at it, those are the ones you listen to. Hey, when somebody loses 300 pounds, hey, how did you do that? You know, I mean... That's not easy to do. So you might want to listen to the person that's been through it or whatever. Or someone that stays in shape year round. How do you stay dialed in like that? And, you know, learning from people like that is where you really get the knowledge. And you know what? It helps you from wasting time. It gives you those shortcuts so you can get down the road better and not have to go through all of the trial and tribulation, tribulations and all of that stuff. Hey! Oh, yeah, it's called, I don't know, Tony Robbins calls it uh, modeling people, you know, and that's what you do, kind of like that mentor kind of thing, or you model somebody who's got down the road. Anyway, 
We also had carrot cake. Oh, hey, Millie. Yeah. Did you hear that? He had a Burger King party last night with Bodie, and they also had carrot cake. Oh, wow, carrot cake's my favorite. Wow, Dean Bodie, he's the greatest. So we do share carrot cake. Let me tell you, when we get Boston Market, they have a carrot cake that's pretty on the money. So we get it. We ch I chop up a little bit. I put it there for Bodie on a plate. And then we have, she has a nice little bowl of maybe some chopped up chicken. Bodie goes carrot cake and chicken, baby. Oh, yeah. And I love the carrot cake. Really yummy. So the BK Lounge and Carrot Cake Party was happening last night. Too fun. Too much fun. And uh, there's one thing, a couple things here I wanted to talk to you about. When it comes to some of the apps, um, some of the apps on the, uh, on the phone, credit card apps, uh, energy bars. Oh, and thank you for tipping. Wow. There's a few things. Okay, listen, Mr. Uber, Uber driver today, all the way to the market. I'm looking at, he's got this plexiglass thing behind him. I don't know, as a sneeze guard or whatever you want to call it these days. Look like an old taxi. They used to have those bulletproof whatevers. And in lettering, he had it written out, thank you for tipping. Really? I haven't even tipped you yet. What's going on with that? Oh, so you're expecting a tip already. Didn't even say hello. Didn't even do nothing. Didn't even offer me a water or nothing, whatever. Hey, whatever, man. I was a bartender in the nightclub business forever. You don't just expect, you got to earn that tip. You got to earn it. So that was kind of weird. Anyways, I did not tip the guy because on principle alone. So <laughs> that being said, um, the credit card app, some of these things, when you have a business card and a personal card, you go on American Express, you see everything in one shot. You go on Capital One, you see them side by side. All of a sudden, a new I got a new Citibank card, and I have one that's also an airline card that I get miles on. I used to get miles on, and uh, actually I still do because it's on when you do it some kind of auto pay, you get a little miles. So not to go down that rabbit hole, but. It turns out they don't do it that way. You got to sign into the personal one, log back out, sign back into the business separately. You don't just see them both together. So I call them up. I'm like, why don't you do that? Well, because one's a business and because one's a personal. I know that already. Why can't I see them both at the same time? Well, because we don't really do it that way. And the one's a bit, yeah, I know one's a business and one's a personal. Everybody else does it but you. Everybody else does it but you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I'm not talking about this anymore. Anyway, so at least I know what it is now. We got to sign in separately because the first customer service person that I had to call was all over the place about it. Oh, yeah, you got to go in and go to card services and click on this and unlock that and lock this and relock that and unlock this. What are you talking about? Either I can see them both at the same time or I can't. Which one is it? Yeah, well, this is uh, the personal. I don't really get into the business stuff. And what you're talking about is a business. So yeah, I'm going to give you the number to the business section. Oh, God. I'm like, I have the number. Bye-bye. So I went through all this stuff to find out. You got to log in separately. And it's one of those things. Besides that, what's going on with the energy bars? Oh, so some of these energy bars that you're making out there don't look very appetizing. It's like, is it bumpy because it's got nuts on it? Or does it have a bad case of acne? It's not really appealing. It doesn't really look good. So change it, fix it, smooth it out a little bit. Make it look nice and nice and nicey nice. Don't make it look all bumpy and like it has some kind of, I don't know, case of measles or mumps. It's a breakfast bar. We don't want to start our day with this, like looking at this thing like it, some kind of failed experiment, but you gave it to us anyway because, oh, it's good enough. No, it's not. Maybe you need to have a, a health bar consultation with, oh, I don't know, Elon Musk. Or maybe call Body by Jake and have him smooth you out and give him one, he'd give you one of his shakes that he made. Oh, yeah, those creamsicle shakes from Body by Jake are coming. Uh, stay tuned. I'll let you know how those go. Anyway, we're having a great time. Let's make it a great weekend. Again, we're coming at you daily, Dean Bodie, because life comes at you daily, not weekly and monthly. And uh, let me tell you, 
We're doing our thing. I hope you're doing your thing. Keep yourself strong. Take care of yourself. Keep your immune system cranked up and strong and take care of yourself so you can take care of somebody else, right? Don't bathe in the COVID schmovid pandemic shmandemic. Don't get all wrapped up in all this stuff. We're going to come out of this bigger, better, and stronger. We're going to keep coming at you. Our joy vitamins coming at you daily. Have an awesome rest of your day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. DeanBody.com. Oh, yeah.